In this video, I will show you how to create a 70s retro style repeat pattern in Procreate using the combined parachute brush in the Pattern Builder Kit. To create the pattern, I created a mood board of the era, style, and colors. Then I subtracted a palette from these. Then I started to draw my pattern with a daisy like flower shapes. I created a square canvas of 3600 by 3600 and from the pattern builder kit I selected the combined parachute brush. I tapped once to place my guide, selected transform then fit to canvas and lower the opacity. Then I went to the wrench tool, selected place a photo and inserted my rough sketch. I adjusted it to fit the guide then lower the opacity. I added a new layer, selected a gray color, then used the 6B pencil brush and started refining my sketch. I wanted few elements to overlap but I made sure to draw inside the shape so the repeat pattern will work. Start by deleting the rough sketch and lower the opacity of the refined one. Then I add a new layer, fill it with the background color and put this layer under the guide and the sketch. I create a new layer, then I select the darkest color in my palette and select a smooth brush. And as a start, I will be drawing the main branches. And if you draw an arc and keep holding the pen, your arc, your arc will be smooth. Then I created a new layer and lowered the size of my brush and start drawing my flowers. As it's 70s retro style, I will be creating an outline for my flowers and everything in my pattern.
I will put the opacity of the branches back to 100% and hide the sketch. Then I will duplicate the flowers layer and start filling the flowers using the palette that I created. I started with the light pink by clicking on the circle and dragging the color to fill the petal shape. The word color drop appear on top. I will select continue filling and start tapping inside more shapes to fill them with the same color. I continue by selecting another color, clicking on the colored circle, then uh, dragging it inside the shape. As the word uh, color drop appear, I select continue filling and tap inside more shapes to fill them with this color. Continue till I finish all of my design. Now I will group my final design with the guide and background except for the sketch layer. So to create the repeat pattern I will duplicate this group four times and rename the original one. Having a background layer will help me place each group in the corner of my canvas. I'm going to hide the background so I can see when I place the group in the corner. Select the top group, then select transform and making sure that the snapping is on and the distance is to the max. And when you move your group to the corner, you will see that you have a, an orange uh, cross. It means that your group is snapping precisely to the corner of your canvas. I'm gonna delete the guide in this group and I'm gonna continue placing the rest of the group to the corner of the canvas. After placing the four groups in the corner, I will hide the main guide. Now I will play with the arrangement of the groups. For example, at the top group, the small flowers are on top of the big flower, but, but the bottom right group, the big flower is on top of the small ones. It's a small details, but it will make the pattern a little bit more fun. Then with three fingers, I'm gonna swipe to the bottom, select copy all, then swipe again and select paste. Procreate will create a flattened layer of my design and place it on top. I will make three copies of this layer, then make each copy half the size of the canvas. I will do that by selecting each layer, select transform and select one of the blue corners and put half the size of my canvas. We'll do that for the rest of the uh, layers. And here is my final design. I will be adding more videos, so if you are interested, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you.